Good morning. Can you say good morning? No. Say good morning. Uh -oh. Say hi, America. Mom. Can you say good morning? Mom. Morning. Oh, Mom. Good morning. Mommy. Oh, you want some of this action too? What is that red bike? <laughs> Say good morning. Yeah. Say hi, Mom. everybody. Mommy. Mommy? Yeah. Mommy. Two, 2004 Yukon, but uh, this is the problem we have. The front end's loose. Can't see it, but you can also see the tires are wearing funny. So I already got jack stand on this side. I do one on the other side, and then uh, wait for it to warm up a bit. It's still cold this morning. So yeah, we got to change ball joints, pretty much everything in the steering components got to be replaced. And uh, we just ordered all the parts off of eBay, it's a lot cheaper. So uh, I guess get the other side jacked up. One wheel off, and uh, somebody already torqued them, but I'm going to change the brake pads too. But anyways, we gotta put you in. Gotta break out the brakes. Hope not to break the stud. Thank you. 
Pads are gone. Equalizer's gone. We've got the parts to change that. And then we gotta change these tie rods. Those ball joints look like they'd be a pain in the butt to change. Those ball joints look like they'd be a pain in the butt to change. How can we do that? Huh? For my YouTube channel. I make extra money off of that. That's how I'm going to upgrade the truck. That tie rod's gone. That's pretty cool though. This one had a grease zerk in it. Alright. I'm going to unbolt all this. Give us some light somewhere. Oh crap. Nowhere to hang. Oh. Right here's where we're gonna go to the roof. All the cats. Off now, try to fight the other end. I cheated. You need everything? Huh? What that the outer? What do you know? I'm just gonna take the whole thing out and then we gotta put it up on the vise and measure it out. Mm -hmm. And I'll take a picture with my phone. We get a measuring tape, measure it. Try to put it close, and then we're, I won't tighten them up. Oh. And then when we get the tires back on, we'll take the tape measure. And try to get it as close as we can until she can take it in Monday to have it aligned. But they won't align it until I fix all this. A lot of the bushings will wear out. Same thing on that side. Yeah, on the other side. <laughs> Don't fit on that one. Size smaller. Yeah. That size smaller? Yeah, size smaller. 23. No, that's American. Oh, it needs to be metric. I know, I don't got a metric. I have to go call around and see who's got one. I'll have to take the whole bar out and I'll take it in. I don't know what size it is. I thought you had a 24.
Well, come on. Clean that up before I put it back together, too. What the heck? Is it full now? Yeah. You want it up? No, I want it down because I'm going to grip onto this and just see if I can twist it out. Hold on to it, maybe. You got a pipe, a smaller one. Let's see if we can grip onto it from here. God dang, that thing's on there. That is on there. Man, I ain't got enough room for that. Well, I guess there's one way or the other way to go. I'll walk you. I'll see you can't go. One other way to try, I guess. Button move that. Good thing my legs are strong, huh? <laughs> No, I think it just stripped right off of there. I thought it did it. It didn't mm -hmm. break? Nope, it came off that way. Dang, I got some strong legs! I thought, I thought it broke. God, I'm glad I'm smart at this, huh? Pipe wrench to get this thing off. <laughs> That's funny. You got any brake cleaner here? Wait, clean them? Yeah, because I'm going to clean the bottom of this before I put it back on. I doubt it. I look like I'm making a trip to... I doubt it. Alright, Crap, I gotta take this bar out anyway to get the pitman arm out. You gotta be Both ain't turning up. That would have both been. Going no. out? I ain't telling. It's just long winded, I guess. I gotta take this whole bar out anyway because I gotta get the pitman arm out. We got a new tie rod here. This is the old one. That's pretty wore out. And there's the new one. We lined it up as close as we can. We will uh, take a tape measure and measure it to get it somewhat. And then the vehicle will go for a line. Yeah, this is the new one, nice and tight. This one's a little loose. Wore out. So this one's the left one, and I'll put it on the running board. So I gotta get underneath there and pull the uh, the other side out. Would you guys see me pull this one out? That was pretty amazing. Clean up there. I change the stabilizer bushing before I put it all back together. So we're gonna get on the other side and uh, do that side right now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unzip the bolt on that side. And then we got, like I said, we got the whole kit. It comes even with ball joints, but the ball joints seem to be all right for now, so I'm not going to change those. I'll change them at a later date. Technically, I hate doing ball joints. But we got the stabilized sway bar links. Our uh, pitman arm, what? That's the idler arm. I'm getting ready to pull those out here in a bit. The pitman arm. Uh, right tie rod and tie rod all joints I really don't know how to pull these out I'm thinking about it but uh, it's a lot of work and they don't seem to be really loose right now so I'm not going to worry about those but that is my next goal is to go <laughs> we don't have a wrench big enough so we had to use a pipe wrench That's a, look at this galaxy 500 four door mint condition and then my father-in-law just got this pickup rebuilt 
It was his father's truck. <clears throat> yes, I do have a big shop. You can almost fit a semi truck in here, except the doors ain't high enough. Uh, that's the whole problem. But yes, I have a whole shop to work in, and it's awesome. I'm glad with heat, and uh, I got everything I need in here. I even a press over there. I got all the air tools. This is my favorite projects to do is working on vehicles. I, uh, so we're gonna get the uh, creeper here. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna break the other tie rod loose. I had to use my foot. Wasn't that pretty amazing? So yes, we're gonna pop this one off. And then we're gonna screw that one. And then I gotta go in there and take the pitmans off. Which I think I'm just gonna pop the tie rod off. I take the rest off from there. So anyways, we'll see you uh, here in a bit. We got brake pads and rotors coming for the front of this thing too. They're not going to be here till Friday, but if they get here sooner, I will be uh, changing those myself. But alright, let's get this project going. Here we go. What we do? Getting off the other way? <coughs> let's try the other way. I don't need the old nuts. Then I'm gonna go in here and see if I can just go ahead and knock the rest of this off. Now we can just drop it out. Drop it out. Alright, that'd be too bad. That might be a problem, but we'll get to it. I'll just take an impact gun to those suckers. Healthy time. Go ahead and uh, see if I can get a bigger than the socket. Yeah, a bigger socket. Okay, they're over there. We'll go ahead and pop this one off. Huh, I want child right here. I'm left-handed. There it goes. There it goes. Stabilizer bushings are next. I get all this apart. Dude, the rubber was bigger than, I don't know. I can't grab that because it, 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 it right down into the... That saws, I just cut the damn thing in half. Try it again. Get on there, would you? Oh, it's turning. You can't get it on there. What do you need? Oh, 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 oh.
get it on. See where that rubber is? Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah. I'll try jump like this. I might hear in a second. That's it. Cut that thing right in half. I don't know how good that is. God give me that and I never never did use it. Unplug the light, it'll be fine. Cut right through that thing. Okay. Doesn't need any blade. Yeah, slowly needs a new blade. I win! Oh yeah, I won. That's how you take care of the problem. I won! How'd you get the new... 50 million tools just to get one project done. Fifty million tools. I'm get that pipe up out of the engine, so get all this back together. Yeah, we need that winch. It's under there somewhere. <coughs> what did trap mid the fluid? Where? No, that's WD of trying oh. to trying to We need the jack? Yeah, probably No because we cut it off, remember? Oh I might need the jack to get the bolt back in, but grab that in a second. You dirty rat. Here you go. Need this? Yeah, well, here in a second. Maybe. I need that bar to pull that up again. Okay. That's up in the engine compartment. Yeah. Up in the engine compartment. Yeah, I was trying to oh, yeah, I smack it from every which way, but loose. Yeah, you know, I'll pull up on it when you do. I gotta find a place to put yeah. it first. Oh. God damn you! Right uh, there. Yeah, it should hold. Well, what the heck? Let go of that for a second. Alright. I have to really reef. You ready? Yeah. Come on, get down in there, you turkey.
Now we might need the jack. Might. Yep. Well, that ain't gonna be. Huh? That ain't gonna be interesting. That's gonna be really interesting. Again, huh? Go ahead. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. More? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get this one on this easy. This one ain't gonna go on as easy. I still ain't gonna get any threads on that. What the heck? Let it go. Put it on the floor now, bud. Hammer. Damn, burger. Pushing off the old one because it's flat enough. Well, we got to put that new bushing on. Yeah, I know, but the problem is, I ain't got no threads to connect to. Yeah, it looked like that would jack up. Mm, try to jack it up again, but I still ain't got no threads to it. Threads, but not enough to put them on. Not enough, huh? And what you need? Try a little bit more. in the vehicle yet so all right where's the wrench and it, 14 though uh, 14 on the other gun jack in the way now that tight enough. Good enough. I'm gonna let it go. Woohoo! <laughs> that one was a little tricky. Little tricky. Alright. Let's the other side and try to pull me guide it through. because I never moved the other oh, side right. and I haven't tightened this side up yet yeah. so what I'm do is get underneath it push it up I need the new you know what? 
need to figure out where the nut is for this side though. That ain't it. That's the problem, this thing's so rusted I don't want to put it back on. Threads don't feel right. <laughs> 